Welcome to Gandy's Builds. My name is Josh. In today's video, we're going to be building a pull-out 18-inch garbage can. So this is what it's going to look like. So we're going to go through step-by-step step on how it was made. This will all get covered. Need that piece that goes across the front of the toe kick. I'll be making eight foot long cover pieces. I'm not too worried about these screws. So before we put the cabinets together, I forgot to do the pocket jigs for the face frames. We did it on the top piece, uh, but I forgot. Um, so this is the, the pull-out garbage can. So this will be on an inside knee wall. So these will be hidden. Uh, this side will be under the island, so this is all going to be visible and painted white so I don't want to do any pocket jigs so what we're going to do is we're going to do them on the inside of the cabinet because we're going to paint our face frames and then just clear all our cabinet boxes the carcass so I'm just going to do a couple in here this way when the face frame's done we can just screw it on So we're going to mount this base frame on. This is just going to be temporary. Mounting it for good. We're just for mock up. So 
that's done. Now, the reason we put those filler strips in, because now everything's flush, but I can tell right here it's a little bowed out, so I can just push it when I go to put the screws in, and then lock it in place, and then it's just by feel. Flush here. So this has just a hair bow to it, push it out. And we put our pocket screws in, then I, have, I know everything's square up to it. Okay, so we are going to build the drawer for the garbage cans. Now, uh, we're gonna pocket jig underneath. Pocket jig everything together, so this way it's all structural, but when you look from the outside, you won't see anything, so it'll be pockets underneath to the sides, and then the fronts and backs will be all pocketed inside, and then we'll frame out the top with solid half inch maple. So this way it'll look good. We won't have any plywood seams, except for the ones on the front and back, which we won't see it when we open the garbage can. We'll just see this maple veneer. And then the top will just be uh, some solid maple, and we'll build a little uh, frame that the garbage cans will sit into. All right, so we're gonna put the bottom drawer together. And again, I love using these little three-quarter strips. They just line stuff up without having to worry about it. So at the front and back, the shelf is gonna, the bottom is gonna sit right here. So all I'm gonna do is just pin nail some three-quarter inch strips. Like I said, I don't have to worry about trying to hold it together. It'll just sit on there like a little shelf. And I know it's exactly the same material thickness. So on the front, we're about an inch and an eighth. Write this down. I'll just draw it on there. I'm just say this is the front. So inch and an eighth here. Inch and a quarter. Perfect. Inch and a quarter down the sides. So back is going to be the back is just going to be straight 11 sixteenths because it's right and flush against there. And then inch and a quarter down the sides. And then the middles. That looks like two and a quarter, but what I'll do is I'll cut a little piece in there just to see what it looks like before we do anything with that. So what I'm saying is here's the middle, but here's where the corner should start. So round up to there, same here. So I'll put a block this big in there, but then I can just go through and scribe it, cut it out, make it fit the garbage cans. All right. Let me get all this glued up. Let's see. Push back in.
I had to retrim this, so I had to go in a little bit. Alright. So, come back. We'll trim those out. Show you. Okay, so I cut one. Really good. So it does fit. Got a couple screw ups. Fits in there, nice and tight, pretty much straight, solid, just gives it a good look. So I'm going to cut out the front one, yeah, looks great. Okay, so, sanded it, it's uh, not perfect, I don't have a spindle sander, but I just did it by hand, cut everything, set it in there. At least it looks flush. What I'm going to do is throw some glue, clamp it down, leave it in clamps overnight, and then tomorrow set everything back up. <clears throat> I already have the door in glue up. That's already done, so I can literally put that right on tomorrow. Once I get everything done. Okay, so we got the base bottom sanded, all sanded up. We're going to install that which everything should just fall into place. We just want to make our reference lines. So, come up. Again, this will be under the island. On the side, there'll be, we're going to build the cabinets that go behind it for under there for storage. But for garbage cans, we just pull out. Garbage recycle. Looks really good. Pulls pretty smooth. Let's grab the garbage cans, throw them in there, see what it looks like. I had no plans, no nothing, just kind of built it. I've looked at other cans to see how they were built. Super tight. I like it. Looks good. Plenty of room all around. Uh, 
Looks good from the side, no screws. I don't like seeing screws anywhere. I like it. So thank you for watching.